Okay, in this second part of the uh, creation of sketches, we're going to take a look at polylines, splines, two-point arcs, and three-point arcs. So once again, in order to get the best view of things when working in two dimensions, I'm just going to click on the top button, and that's going to take me to the grid looking at it as if I were directly above it. So under the sketch menu, the first one of the poly lines or manual drawing is uh, the, the basic poly line. You can click that and then click somewhere on the, the grid. And if I click to start a point and let go of my mouse, the line begins to follow my mouse cursor. So I can create a simple square like this. But I could also create more intricate shapes. I was doing a staircase, for example. And although I'm creating straight lines, you can also, you could really click anywhere. It doesn't really matter where you click. It'll make the point stick wherever you click. Okay, so you can create some pretty uh, intricate designs doing this. The one last thing with the, the polylines is that you also are not limited to straight lines. So for example, if I were to click here and create the beginnings of a rectangle, and then on this last point here, I could click and hold. And you'll notice that when I hold, it creates an arc to go along with the, the cursor. So I've made a, an arc over this existing rectangle. I check it. And now I have my new shape. And you can see here in three dimensions how that's potentially going to look once I decide to use an extrusion, which we'll talk about in a future video. So that's the basic polyline. The second one is a spline. And the way a spline works is uh, here, I'll start with a point. And the minute I create a second point, it's just going to make the line curve. So Every point that I make, it'll curve along that point. So if you're making sort of a kidney bean shape, or if you're making anything that doesn't have any corners, you can create it like that. OK, so I'll try that one more time. Just anywhere that I'm clicking, it starts to create a curve around that point. There we go. The next one is a two-point arc. The two-point arc is used when you know, uh, the, let's say, the radius of the arc that you want to create. So for example, I'm going to come down here. And let's say that I want the center point of the arc to start there. And I want the first part of the arc to begin there. I click, and I. All I'm doing is taking my mouse and going left and right. So it takes it here. And if you notice up at the top, I can actually specify the degrees. For example, I could just type in 180 and hit Enter. And now I have this arc with a radius of, at this point, 2 millimeters. So that's a two-point arc. On the three-point arc, uh, I'll show you again by using this same example of a almost like a bucket. OK, so we're going to try that again. We're going to create a rectangle. And this rectangle, uh, partially open, will allow me to connect the other two points, the two final points, with, a, with an arc. So I'm going to use this three-point arc. I'm going to click once there and click once there. And then when I let go, you'll see that the mouse allows me to increase or decrease and even invert this arc. And so I'm going to bring it up to about there. And now I have a very similar shape to what I had before earlier in the other example. 